Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So I'm going to react to another Thomas and Friends audio story by Kiefer Adams. Yes, I know it has been a while since I reacted to one of his audio stories. And this one is the third story of series four called Golden Oldies. This one was uploaded on September 17th. This was actually uploaded the day I flew out on my holiday I did right there. And I have not had the chance to react to it ever since I got back. So um, the last Thomas audio story from Keith I reacted to was um, the animal antics one. You do want to go check that out. It's going to be available in the top right corner of your screen. So this is actually not the newest audio story because Kiefer likes to upload his new audio stories every Sunday. And just this past Sunday gone, he uploaded his latest story called Arthur's, Arthur's Tricky Travel. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to react to both of them. I'm going to be reacting to two of the audio stories that I haven't reacted to by Kiefer so far. This is obviously going to be this one, which is Golden Oldies. And then, of course, I'll react to the Arthur's Tricky Travels one. So, so that way, I, I don't fall behind on, you know, I don't fall behind on, you know, Kiefer's audio stories, because that's the last one series that I want to fall behind on. So Golden Oldies. So like I said, this one was uploaded on the, uh, on the day I flew out on my holiday. This one features the pairing. Golden Oldies, as you can tell by the title, features a pairing of Edward and Toby. And Keeper has openly said that, you know, Edward is his favourite character. Did Edward and Toby get episodes together in the TVS? I'm not really sure about that, in all honesty. In all honesty, but... Yeah, I can't remember. Let me know in the comments down below if Edward and Toby had any of their own TVS episodes together, but... I have seen a few train stories of Edward and Toby on, you know, the Thomas fandom on here on YouTube, but an audio story by Kiefer with his take on both of them is, is going to be pretty nice to, to watch. Um, links to the video I'm reacting to in the description down below as always. So without further ado, just go ahead and get straight into this. I really enjoyed the animal antics one, so let's see what happens in this one. Golden Oldies, written and told by, by Kiefer, Kiefer Adams. Adams. Toby the steam tram and Edward the blue engine rarely saw each other on the Fat Controller's railway, but when they did, they would catch up as best they could. Toby would often tell Edward about the Farquhar branch line and how Thomas was getting on, while in return, Edward would tell Toby all about how the main line was doing. The two engines were the most well. experienced that the Fat Controller owned and many of the other engines would look up to them for inspiration and guidance. Engines mm -hmm. such as Gordon and James are very careful nowadays of what they say about Toby and Edward. Otherwise, they might find themselves stuck on a hill or spoil their red paint. Mm -hmm. For example, of course. For example, like in Edward and Gordon, where, where Gordon got, 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 stuck on the, got stuck on the hill and he had to rely on Edward to help. So that was a reference to Edward and Gordon. And the other reference that was made right there was dirty objects, where James may, made fun of Toby being a dirty object because of how old he was. And then James crashed into those tar wagon wagons and spoiled and got his paint covered in tar. So good references right there. But not all the engines were as respectful to the likes of Toby and Edward. During the summer period, the Fat Controller had noticed that the work at Brendam Docks had become too much for some of the engines, so he decided to borrow an engine from the other railway. No and it's one course it's diesel. who arrived, though. Devious Diesel was delighted to be back on the Fat Controller's Bye, railway, diesel. but at first, he was as good as gold. He shunted the trucks where they were needed, checked with Cranky to see where everything needed to be, and was surprisingly polite for a short time to the other engines. It's not going to last long whatsoever. Last. I'm sorry to say, though, that Toby and Edward were soon targeted by Diesel. He called them old, slow and out of date and bragged how the Diesels would be taking over. Most of the engines would have ignored this, as they had heard it all before. But Toby and Edward had never dealt with Diesel themselves before. So this was going to be a tough experience for the pair of them. Look, yeah, definitely One is. morning, Edward arrived at the vicarage orchard. He had brought supplies for the vicar's annual summer fate and was talking okay. to Trevor about the work. Oh, there's I Diesel. There's he is right recently, there. He said, I want to make the Fat Controller proud, but I just feel like I'm wearing out. 
You'll be all right, reassured Trevor. Mm -hmm. As long as you rest well, that won't do, scowled the voice. Oh. Diesel, with a train of tankers trailing behind him, pulled up alongside. You are past it, old man, he growled. We oh. diesels are taking over. Oh, why don't you leave Edward alone? Roared Trevor. <laughs> Wasn't expecting Trevor to do that. He barely got angry, but Diesel had pushed him too far. Yep. Edward is one of the most hard-working engines I've ever known, Trevor thundered. I will not hear an oily buzzbox as yourself tell him otherwise. Buzzbox? I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for Edward. Now yep. go away and leave us alone. After all, he was saved from scrap by Edward. He was right there. If it wasn't for Edward, Trevor might not be here right now. So go on, Trevor. You tell Diesel right there, who's boss. Alone. Diesel was taken by surprise. So he, he should be. fiercely. Very well, Trevor, he said. Old iron, he added, giving a cold stare to Edward. And with that, he rumbled away. Thank you, Trevor, said Edward, but you didn't have to do that for me. Of course I did, said Trevor. I'm not going to sit here and let you be insulted. Edward sighed. But soon, it was Toby's turn. Uh-oh. He called you what? roared Thomas that afternoon. An overgrown wooden shed with wheels that wasn't assembled properly, said Toby. Oh! Just you wait till I see him, growled Thomas. I'll show him what. Don't let it get to you, Thomas, said Toby. I know what Diesel's like. Duck has told me all the stories. Sorry, I don't know well, why I've wanted so much. He'll probably be sent away again, said Thomas, and I would love to see that yes. happen. Thomas, don't think like that, said Toby. As devious as he is... He's helping us until the fat controller feels satisfied with the work. Puh! snorted Thomas. How long will that last? By the time the summer's know. over, we'll be spending the whole winter soothing hurt feelings. Thomas stormed away. Ugh. Toby kept quiet. As much as he didn't want to admit it, but he knew deep down that Thomas would be right about Diesel. Yep. Meanwhile, Diesel had delivered his what? tankers and was What's making his here? way back to the docks. He was too busy thinking about what he would say to Toby and Edward when he next saw them that he didn't notice that there was a hot stretch up ahead where the sun had bent the rails. Uh -oh. By the time his crew noticed, it was already too late. Look out, Diesel! They shouted. Oh, he's gonna crash! Diesel snapped out of his devious trance and noticed the stretch. With a clattering bump, he came off the rails and was heading straight for a nearby field. Ew, uh, he cried. There came a splintering karma, crash karma, as Diesel, Diesel felt got bits of karma. broken fence attached themselves to his butter beam. With one look, final groan, is there as well. Diesel ploughed into the field. Oh. His exhaust started billowing clouds of grey smoke and he was coughing wildly. <coughs> he gasped. Who oh, put this field here? Talk about karma. Do you mind? Said a voice. Oh, it's Terence. Diesel looked over, and there was Terence. I've told the likes of Bertie, and I'm telling you, he said firmly. I'm the one who ploughs the fields. Diesel yep. blushed a deep shade of red. Only Terence can plough the fields, not engines. Gins. And that was a reference to Edward Trevor and the really useful party right there, where Birdie Terence's got stuck. Terence's owner went to the farmer's cottage to call for help. At first, when Diesel saw the breakdown train coming, he was going to be Toby and Edward, isn't until it? Until he saw that Toby and Edward were going to be operating the cranes. To make matters worse, the fat controller was on board Toby. He had <laughs> a lot to say to the shunter. You have said rude things to Toby and Edward, he boomed. How they're they happy are they the got most hard-working engines on my uh, railway, and I will not have. have them be insulted by you. Is that understood? Yes, sir, sneered Diesel. Toby and Edward, with the assistance of the cranes, were able to put Diesel back on the rails. He was sent away in disgrace on Henry's goods train to the other railway. 
I the Hi, Diesel. Back controller came to see Toby and Edward. A fine job well done, he said. You two deserve a reward. Toby and Edward looked at each other, but the fat controller continued. Toby, I have my grandchildren down for the summer. If we ever need someone to take us exploring, will you and Henrietta do the honours? Yes, sir, said Toby. You can count on oh, us. Oh, is this a, is this a reference to Toby's Edward, discovery? Foreshadow to Toby's discovery. It is my understanding that Mrs. Kindly's daughter is getting married next week. Can I trust you to take the guests to the church? It would be a delightful honour, sir, said Edward. The fat controller beamed. He turned. That's and a reference away. to make someone happy. Well, what do you think of that, Edward? said Toby. A couple of golden oldies such as ourselves managed to deal That's with That's where the title comes Indeed, from. Indeed, agreed Edward. It just shows that there's still fire in the old timers yet. Yeah. Toby and Edward heartily laughed, pleased that they would never have to deal with the likes of Diesel again. Until next time. So, I knew for the, 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 the straight up fact that that this, 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 this audio story was in the style of Series 5 it was right here. But I was not expecting that. I was not expecting... Um, what was I going to say? I was not expecting that it was actually going. This was actually for, to foreshadow the events of both Toby's discovery and um, what was I going to say? Both Toby's discovery and make someone happy right there. This is why I like Kiefer's audio stories because, like I always say, he always finds a way to make them fit into the law of the TVS. He does. He's even able to set. He's even able to foreshadow some actual TVS episodes in his stories. Or have episodes that are set within those TV uh, stories that are set within those TVS episodes, or after TV during during the TVS episodes. That's why I like about Kiefer right there. Diesel got his karma right there, and well, he ended up pissing off. He ended up pissing off Terence as well, and so that's where the title "Golden Oldies" come from. I mean, <sighs> Diesel messed up once again, and once again he got karma. Karma caught up with him, and well, he ended up pissing off Terence as well. So that was a good audio story. I I really enjoyed it. Like how it was done in the style of series five, and foreshadowed the events of both Toby's discovery and make someone happy right there. Um, really enjoyed the story. Looking forward to reacting to um the Arthur's Tricky Travels one next. But I need to stop the recording on this one first. So yeah, another enjoyable audio story by Kiefer Adams. Thoroughly enjoyed it. You do want to check out any of my previous. Thomas Reactions, whether it's one of Keith Adams' audio stories or a trains adaption by the likes of Carson, Video Workshop, or Tom, or Nina's Productions. And there's going to be a playlist coming up in the top right corner of your screen right now. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this Thomas audio story that I reacted to. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. Uh, follow me on Instagram. A link to that will be in the description down below. Share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos or when I post on the community tab, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!